What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood sliver bro. Today I'm playing Sharoon the Hegemon. I am now playing a newly sleeved Rashmi and Ragavon with that new sleeve slip. Hooray! I am going to be playing Derevi, Imperial Tactician. People who've been on the channel will know before that we built these decks in an hour quite some time ago now, and uh, we've been adding to yeah, them and making them better here and there, mm. editing them over the past few months anyway. These were our one hour challenge decks. Two, three, seven. I'll be good with my hand. Yeah, I'll be good with my hand too, I believe. I'm gonna friendly one. I should be good. A D12 and a D6. Five. Yeah. Two. Two. See how lucky I get. Thirteen, right? Thirteen, yeah. Six. Wow. He's a five. Every day of the week. So, I get to go first. There's more than two upkeeps, so I get to draw. Gruel Guildgate enters tapped. Your turn. Draw. Nice. My land for turn is going to be a forest. Going to tap the forest and play Avachin's Pilgrim. 1-1 one, one Manorak. Avachin. 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 And I pass. Untap up, keep draw. You still haven't sleeved that deck? No. I've been looking for the right sleeves. I haven't found them yet. I will play a Plains. I will tap the Plains. And pay two life. Wow. I will pay two life. This guy loves hurting himself. Yeah. To play Vault Scourge. It's a 1-1 one, one flying lifelink. I will pass. And to keep draw. Mountain. Tap two. For not keen signet. Your turn. One tap. Draw. Land per turn is going to be a planes. And then I will pass. Oh wait. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to pass. I'm going to tap everything and play Manolith. Nice. And then I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. My land return will be a swamp. I will tap two to play Executioner's Hood. It's an equipment equipped creature has Intimidate. I will then move to my combat <coughs> phase. <coughs> And I'm going to swing at Coop in the air for one. I will gain one life. I'll pass my turn. Untap. Upkeep draw. <sighs> Play an island. For two. Using the green. Gallagreeters. Your turn. On top. Draw. I will play an island. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four dread. And then I will. Swing at you for one. Oof. You got over here for blockers. You got something, I just right? Got yeah. 
Come on out, pals. Untap. Top keep. Draw. Lamp return. There's gonna be an island. I'm gonna tap two to play Michael Synth Wellspring. When Michael Synth Wellspring <coughs> enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, I may search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into my hand, and then shuffle my library. That will be an island. Would you like to cut? Uh, Alan goes to my hand. Sean, I'm going to swing you for one in the air. Okay. I have lifelink on that, so I'll pass. On to... I'll keep drawing. Cinder Glade enters on tap because I control two or more basic lands. One, two, three, four. Rashmi Ragavan. That triggers Galag Readers. I'll use him to make a treasure. Swing at you, Ripley, for one. Time I gain a life, I lose one. Your turn. On top. Draw. My upper turn is going to be a planes. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. And I still have three. To play Rishkar Pima Renegade. When Rishkar Pima Renegade enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Each creature you control with a counter on it has tap add green. Is that all counters or just the counters from him? Each creature you control with a counter on it. Okay. So if I gave him plus one plus one, would he get another? Would he tap for two green mana? A green or a white. Oh, this guy taps for a white. Okay. So I could tap him for a green or a white. Mm -hmm. uh, Not a green and a white. A green or a white. I'm going to do Derevi and Rishkar. And now... I can... Tap... One, white, a blue, a blue, and I'll tap both of these for mana. So, one, two, three, four. For High Sentinels of Arishan, three, four. Uh, High Sentinels of Arishan gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. So right now he's a 5-6 flying. That's a static plus one plus one, right? He gets static. plus one plus one for each other creature you control with a plus one. And then one. he can put plus one plus one yeah. on other creatures. Yeah. So he gets two right now because Derevi and Rishkar have counters on him. Uh, and I think that will be my turn for now. Untap. Keep draw. Wow, huh? Lamp turns around. I'll pass. And I'll keep draw. Three. Tireless Provisioner. That's landfall. Whenever a land enters, I can create food or treasure. That triggers Gal Greeters. 
I will create a treasure. That also triggers Rashman Ragavon. I'll create a treasure. And Coop, I'll go for the top of your library. Come on. Aha! Here you go. It's a forest. Exile, right? And then you can play it that turn uh, if you wanted to. If you don't cast this way, you, <clears throat> you may cast this turn. Yeah, I think it stays exiled. No, not my forest. One. Sacking three treasures. Four slagstone refinery. So that way I got a. Oh. Not put into the graveyard. Or is put into exile. I get tap power tokens. Never mind. I'll get them right away. Your turn. Power tokens? Power stone tokens. Whoa. Yeah, colorless. On top. Draw. Lamp return is going to be a forest. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Three. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Four migration path. Gotta get my forest before Sean exiles all of them. Migration path to search a library for a land. Two lands. Lands are tapped. Or you put them into the battlefield tapped, wow. then shuffle. Or I could cycle that card for two mana and draw a card. Discard this card, draw a card. Yeah, so I'm actually going to take a island and a forest. So I'm going to put a forest, I'm going to play tapped. And then... An island into play tapped. And then I will shuffle. And then I still have three mana. Well, four with the Revy. Actually, all of my creatures are able to tap for mana. No. Yes? Not that one. Not this one. He each creature, damage. each... Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. He gets plus one, plus one. Oh, okay, it's not a... He it's gets plus one, plus one plus one. That he gets. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't say put a one one counter. Right. It just says he gets plus one plus one for. Okay, so yeah, you're right. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle. I don't want to cut. Uh, what do we got here? Um. Sean, I'm going to swing at you five flying, and Ripley, I'm going to swing at you three flying, Commander. And then they tap and untap because of Derevi. And then I will pass. Before you pass your turn, I'm going to tap four and play Inspiration. Target player draws two cards. Me. Tap. <coughs> I will move to my upkeep and I will draw Dismal Backwater and just tap and I gain a life. One tap three. <coughs> Play Aether Ride up to when it enters the battlefield, return target creature to its owner's hand. Return target creature to player's hand. Is that what it is? To its owner's hand. This one entered and gave plus one, plus one counters. Return that one to your hand. That's only when it enters the battlefield. Um, I'm going to pass. On top. Upkeep. 
Draw. Play forest. Five. Six. Triskelion. That's a creature. So I'll have greeter, greeters. Create a treasure. And I play the land. So I'll have the tireless provisioner create a treasure as well. Um, and Rashman Radovan creates a treasure. Cooper, I'll go for the top of your library again. No, it's gonna be a fucking forest. No! Explore. You may play an additional land this turn and you can draw a card. Might as well play it, right? Yeah, I can cast that because I have. Uh, six artifacts on the field, so I'll cast that. And then it goes to exile? Uh, I can play an additional uh, draw a card. If you cast, it goes to your graveyard. Oh, okay. No land? No lands. That's cool. But, I like Explore too, honestly. I was hoping I was going to get it soon. Or earlier, I was hoping I, I was can get it. for two treasures. Play a tiller engine. <coughs> Uh, that's another creature entering, so I will choose to gain two life off of Gallagreeters. Oh shit. Yep. And then off of Triskelion, he has three plus one plus ones, and I can choose to remove the plus ones plus, plus the ones in order to deal one damage to any target. How big is Vault Scourge? Try one one. It is a 1-1. One, one. I'll remove a 1-1 one, one to deal 1 damage to the Scourge. Uh, how big is Avacyn's Pilgrim? 1-1. One, one. I'll remove 1 to deal 1 damage to Avacyn's Pilgrim. And then I'll remove a 1-1 one, one to deal 1 damage to Yuku. No! So now he's a 1-1. One, one. Your turn. Alright. Let's see. It's a reprinted old card. Okay. On top, on top, on top. Draw. I thought it came in as a zero zero though. Comes in as a one one. What's the biggest creature on the board? I have a one uh two two rather. Uh two four one one, one one, three two, one three. All right, I'm just gonna wait, chill out on that. Um, one white, two three four, four high sentinels of Irish and Two counters on it. Neil doesn't have any counters on it. It has two. It has the static plus two plus two. Yes, you're right. So that's four, and then I have. I am going to. Oh, Ripley, take one. Or no, Ripley, take uh three. Sorry. Commander damage. Yep, commander damage. I'm at six commander damage on that. All right, and I think that is all she wrote for my turn. On tip. Upkeep. Draw. Oh, shoot. Lambertarian will be an island. In the top six. Cast my commander, Shurum, the hegemon. When 
Shroom the Hegemon comes into play, I may return target artifact from my graveyard to play. Vault Scourge comes back into play. Is that the only artifact you had in there? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I put something in there for you. I was going to do something. Uh, you just helped me out just a little bit. I circumvented one thing. Um, I'll move to combat. For attackers, I'm going to declare no one. And I'll pass my turn. Untap. Keep. Draw. Cultivate. Put basic mountain into play tapped. Put a basic forest into my hand that will trigger the tireless provisioner for a treasure. The cultivate will trigger Rashmi for first spell per turn for a treasure. And then I will souffle. Anybody want to cut? And Rip, I'll go for the top of your library. This otherworldly journey. Which does. You can remove target creature from the game and then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the end of their turn. At the end of the current turn. With a plus one plus one counter on it. It doesn't have to be a creature you control. So if you're about to swing at somebody. Who has the strongest creature out? If Probably this me. comes into play, I can return a creature to its owner's hand. If this comes back into play, I can return an artifact for, to my graveyard, from my graveyard to play. What is that? What? My commander, Sharoom? No, the blue one. So it's in play. Yeah, I returned this card to his hand when I played this. He just played that again last turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I well the worldly journey you're either at up. So it's phased out until the end of turn. It's exiled until the end of. So what does it say though when it comes into until, play? Until the end of at the end of turn. No, your card. What does it say? Yeah. When, when your card comes into play. I can return to every creature to its owner. So is that that's taking it out of play and then yep. it's coming back into play? Yep, I don't trigger. See, you killed two birds with one stone. He got fucking two tapped birds you out. And then, he tapped you out, and then he's gonna. And then once your card comes in, you're gonna freaking get rid of my card. For three yep. treasure tokens and the arcane signet, a Thopter spy network. Uh oh. Be in my upkeep. If you control an artifact, create a one-one Kyleless Thopter artifact creature token with flying. On tap. Draw. How big is he? Oh, at the end of the turn, he comes back into play with a plus one, plus one counter. He's a three, three right now. Uh, when he came back into play, this got returned to your hand. When that was at the end of Sean's yeah. turn. I'm sorry. Alright, well, you know, I'm just going to play it again. One. Yeah, it's <laughs> pathetic, right? <laughs> um, swinging at. What do you have for blockers, Sean? You look like I have a 1 1 Triskelion, 1 1 Gallo Greeters, a 1 3 Tiller Engine, 3 2 Provisioner. Rashmi and Ragavone for 2 4. Uh, 
I'm just gonna swing at Mike for three flying, and then I'm going I'll to. I'll block it with my um, five five flying. Um. Yeah, so he dies. Yeah. So he dies. So I just got one less static one. Plus one, plus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? No, I can't. Don't <laughs> tell hurt me. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, Lamp return is going to be a planes. I'm going to tap five to play Conjurer's Closet. It's an artifact. At the beginning of my end step, I may exile target creature I control, then return that creature to the battlefield under my control. Um. You have any flying over there, Sean? Nope. Cooper wants to swing at you with a 1 1 flying. What is it? A 1 1 flying. What's the name? Vault Scourge. Yeah, we're gonna destroy target attacking creature because I know you like that stupid Vault Scourge. 1, 2, 3, 4. Rebuke. Destroy target attacking creature. Rebuke? Yep. Nice. That's okay. Uh, he's destroyed. Second main phase. I will then move to my end step. At the beginning of my end step, I will exile my shroom and then return it to the battlefield under my control at the end. So I pass my turn. He comes back, and Vault Scourge comes back from the graveyard. God damn it. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Draw my upkeep. I got. I'm not the threat right now. I'm one Thunder. Lamp Return is a forest. Triggers the Tylus Provisioner. Creating. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. Creating a treasure. Three for Drakewing Crassus. I'll have Gallagreeders create a treasure. That'll also trigger Rashmi Ragavon for a spell per turn. That's three treasures. That is a Flying Trample. How big is it? Three one. I'll go for the top of your library, Coop. Uh, sorry, not Coop, but. Dromar's Cavern, it's a land. I can't cast lands. Oof. It's exiled. So, three and three for Thopter Assembly. Five, five, at the beginning of the upkeep, if you control no Thopters other than Thopter Assembly, return Thopter Assembly to my hand and create five, one, one colorless artifact. Uh, thopters with the, uh, flying. But don't you have a 1-1 one, one Thopter? Yeah, I have an um, enchantment that's creating Thopters. So I have a backup now. Who has what for blockers? 3-3, three, three, five, 5 in the air, 1-1 one, one flying life flank in the air. Flying. Cool, what do you got? Is your 5-5 five, five your commander, Mike? Yeah. I got a 4-5 and a 3-3. Three, three. Your turn. Well, you would have got burned if it was me, too, because I drew a land. Land returns planes. We'll say white, blue, and 
two. One, two, three, four, four Derevi. Oh, Drevi comes into play. Untap a... Uh, a land, yeah. I'm going to untap this blue right here. And then I'm going to retap the blue. Tap <coughs> a white and a green... Tap a... Blue. Two whites. And another blue. And then I still have a green white left. For Wonder. Did you tap a white to play... Yeah, this was right. white. I said this was white, a uh, blue, and right. a green. There's two <coughs> greens and a blue. I got you. Because I, I didn't have too many whites, mm. so I was trying to save them. Um, yeah, so I play Wonder 2 2 Flying. As long as he's in my graveyard, all my creatures I control have flying. Do you have anything, like, beefy over there, Sean? Uh, I have a 5 5 now. It's flying. Who is it? Is it your commander? Falter assembly. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna blow that up. With... Selesnia Charm. Exile target creature with power 5 or greater. And then... I'm going to... Swing at you, Sean, for four flying. Because Ripley has a stupid 5-5. Five five. But I don't want to use Selesnya Charm on it because it's your commander and you'll just put him back in. At least his card is exiled, you know? <clears throat> um, I'm going to pass. You took the four? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I swung with High Sentinels and because Drevi he taps on taps. Untap, upkeep. Joy. Let me turn this around. Alright, who's got what for where right now? Four, five, two, three, 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 two, two. Who you got for fucky creatures that are making extra tokens? Not making tokens? These two are token making, but I can have them to make a token. That's on creature entering, and this is on lands entering. This is when my artifacts die. Is it a creature? That's an artifact. This is when, uh, this is during upkeep. I'm going to have three. Play detention sphere. And when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to exile a permanent underneath it. The permanent I think I'm going to choose is this one, maybe? Not really. Right, no, what's that guy? I guess the Gallic Readers. I'm going to exile underneath this until this leaves play. Still during my first main phase. You don't have any flying? Uh, I have three one flying trample. That's it. You don't have any blue permanents, do you? Blue, blue, blue. And technically, an island. I think an island? Alright. No, just one island. Let's have two. <coughs> To equip the Executioner's Hood onto the Aether Adept, it gets in Intimidate, can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. What color? Blue. Hmm. It's 3-3. Three, three. Shit. Um... 
Sean, I'm coming at you with a 1 1 flying lifelink and a 3 3 intimidate blue artifact creatures or blue creatures. I'll block it with a 1 1 Triskelion. It's an artifact creature. Yeah. And that will proc the uh, Slagstone Refinery. So I get a tapped Power Stone. Shit. And then I take the one from the Vault Scourge. Shit. Alright, I'm going to move to my end step. Conjurer's Closet goes off. Uh, I'm going to exile target creature I control and then return that control at the end of my turn. Either Adept will come back into play. And I'm going to return... I'm going to turn... Don't you have to re-equip the hood? No. Yeah, but it's not on there. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw it back down onto the equipment. Um, I throw it up, comes back into play, and I'm going to return your... You don't have the... You have the 5-3 out? Yeah. No. No. Huh. I'll return uh, your commander to your hand then. How's that? And then I'll pass. And, uh... Power stone on tabs. Upkeep. Okay. Get another Thopter. Draw. No, oh, wow. Really? Rogue's Passage. Four. Rashman Ragavon. That's my first spell per turn, so it doesn't go off. I'm going to counter it. Cancel. One, two, three, four, five. I can't. Power stones can only be used to cast artifacts. This is not an artifact, so. Cool. Uh -huh. Three one flying. Three one. Yep. Uh, I will block it with wonder. Two two. Don't kill each other. Yep. Good. Wonders in your graveyard. All your creatures have flying. Yep. Your turn. Untap. Untap, untap, untap. Draw. I'm going to tap everything. One white, and then the rest colorless. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For Machaeus the Lunark. Machaeus the Lunark enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. I can tap, put a plus one plus one counter on him, or tap and remove a one one and put it on someone else I control. So he is a nine nine flying. Woo! And he has counters on him. So this guy gets the static. Gets the static. You said it has nine plus one plus one counters on him? Yeah. So it, it's a zero zero. You pay yeah. mana, it comes in. So it's a nine nine flying. What do you got over there, Mr. Fancy Five Five Flyer? I have a five five flyer and a two two on the ground. I want to show its permanence underneath there, exiled. Until that leaves play. So. When I attack, my power hits your toughness. Yeah. And then... My power hits your toughness. 
at the same time unless one creature has first strike or double strike. Okay, so I'm going to swing at you with a 5-6 flying. Which is that guy? Yeah. A 5-6, you say. Yeah, so my 5 hits your 5, your creature dies, your 5... If I choose to block... Yeah, that's what I was trying to I'm make sure. I'm not going to block, though. I was just trying to make sure that if you did block, your creature would die and he wouldn't. Right. Uh, I suppose... While I'm swinging at you, I can swing at Sean for two flying commander as well. And then I think that will probably be my turn. One tap. I can nap time. Up keep, draw. Whenever turn is going to be planes, I'm going to tap. Four to play Alice Norn, which is right here. I just need to read it. Um, yeah, Alice Norn's a 3 5 Vigilance. Whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to me or a permanent I control, that source's controller loses two life unless they pay one. I can pay three and sacrifice three other creatures. To exile Elish Norn and then return it to the battlefield transformed under its owner's control. Activate only as a sorcery. One, two, three, eh? Okay. We're gonna do it like this. Sean, you have any flyers? Two flyers right here. Two flyers. Yeah, one ones. I'm going to tap three that way to sacrifice one, two, three creatures to transform my L uh, to exile Ella Snor and return it to the battlefield transformed under its owner's control. Turns into the Argent Etchings. As a saga enters and after my draw step, add a lore counter. So, so, it, draw, though, so it's just as it enters. As the saga enters. Yeah, I just said as the, it's after your draw, so it's just as it enters. And after you draw. So I got the first one right now, right? Yeah, just the first one. Because it's already after you draw stuff. It says incubate two five times, then transform all your incubate tokens you control. What the fuck does incubate mean? Yeah, creates an artifact with N plus one plus one counters on it, which we can transform into Phyrexian creature for two. Da 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 da. Yeah, then it says to transform them, correct? Yeah. Yeah. The instruction to incubate includes a number which indicates how many plus one plus ones counter. Incubate two five times. Yeah, so that's... Five two twos. Yeah, five two twos, and then they transform. Okay. Oh, I incubate two I five to. times when Ellis Norm transforms... 2-2 two, two, Phyrexians, because they get transformed. I will pass my turn. Yeah. Keep the incubate rolls up. All just that just a pass? You'd be surprised. Sacrifice my command. I'm tap. Upkeep. Draw. What's the next saga? All creatures that I control. Get plus one, plus one, and double strike until end of turn. <coughs> during, during my upkeep, I get another Thopter. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Four Rashman Ragavan.
green, and another two for Agent of Horizons. Rip, I'll swing at you for three in the air, three one ones. Your turn. Well, it can only be two actually, because one just came in this turn. My bad. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Eleven mana, technically, because Nikaeus is. Play Trava's Ruins. Bouncing back a planes to my hand. Trava's Ruins. When it comes into play, sacrifice unless you return a non layer land. And it taps for green, white, or blue. What do you got for flyers, Mike? Nada. I'm going to swing at you for nine. Flying. And then I'm going to swing at Sean for uh, five, seven. Two of its commander, flying. And then I will pass my turn. On tip. I'll keep my draw. This next trigger goes off. Creatures I control gain plus one, plus one, and double strike until end of turn. So those two twos are three threes with double strike. Yep. Oh, that's pretty beefy. My turn is a swamp. Tap two. To play a veteran sidearm. Oh, well, I'm not tapping two. One, two, three, four. All right, good. I left myself enough mana like an idiot. <laughs> One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to play Sharoom the Hegemon. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, I return an artifact from my graveyard to play. Volt Scourge, one, one flying lifelink. Yeah. You got a nine, nine. Five, six, two, three, 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 all flying. I'm going to swing at you with five, three, three, double strikes. Five, three, three, double strikes. So, fifteen, thirty. Uh, mm, I'm going to block one of them with Micaeus. Four. Uh, double strike. I'll block one of them with Micaeus. I'll block one of them with Derevi. Three. So is that three, six, twelve, eighteen damage? Uh, three and three. 12, 6, 12, 12, yeah, 18. I'll take 18. Alright. And Derevi dies. At an instant speed, I can put him back in play. Bam. Damn. Damn, son. I will pass my turn. Uh, at the end of my turn. Thought you broken me down. Yeah. I can't do anything with that, so it don't matter. Turn. You're in step what? I can't do anything, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. I get a thopter. Draw. Three. Four. A mana gorgeous hydra. Uh oh. Whenever we cast a spell, 
That catch a plus Whenever one. Whenever anybody plus casts a spell. Okay. You catch a plus one, plus one, got it. Yeah. Then six for a Nathosaur. Uh, five four, a sack and artifact that gains trample. <coughs> uh, Mana Gorger is my first spell per turn, so I get my treasure. Yeah, treasure. Where's my this thing, right? Is it this way you're Oh, no, you know what? I get one treasure. That's my. And that zombie is my one tap. It's my one power stone. What did you say? Five four trample. Yeah, five four. I can sa uh, I can sacrifice an artifact to give it trample. Oh, until end of turn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for the top of your library, Coop. Oh, come on! Big money, big money, no whammies, oh. and oh. Jesus! It's this one right here. Is it this one? Oh, it's, yeah. Colonia, Colonian Hydra. Trample. It enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters. Whenever it attacks, double the number of plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Uh, five? Uh, those are artifacts. So but if you play them, it's just for that turn, right? No, he plays it. No, I play it. Oh, for good? Yeah. But if you can't play it, then it gets exiled. Okay, yeah. alright. So it's four artifacts. For some reason I thought it was just six. play it this turn, and then it goes to exile. I wasn't sure. I know yeah, some so I'll play the Colonian Hydra. It has four, four, one, four, one, four one ones. Whenever it attacks, all your things yeah, but it has summoning double. sickness right now. Yeah. But even, I think even Colonian Hydra would double when it attacks. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that was a good card and good play, Sean. Yeah, it says each creature you control, not each other. Uh, so that was two spells after Mana Gorger. So Mana Gorger has... At an instant speed, two. I'm going to tap a green and a blue and bio shift. All four of your Colonian Hydra counters onto, what is he, a 3-3 three, three zombie? No, that's a t uh, Power Stone. Can I read Bioshift for a minute? Yeah. Any number of counters from target to another target. It does target. say target creature. So I can move <laughs> It does have to be the same control. Yeah, though. it's, it's got to be, I can move four from him to someone else. Just yeah, one that's a Power Stone, which I can only use to... <laughs> For artifacts, this is a treasure. So these aren't creatures? Correct. Okay. Uh, so what do you got over here? What is he, a 3-3? Three, three? Uh, yes. With trample. I don't know if I want to give him 4 plus 1. Uh, well, one. while you're casting that, he would become a 3-3. Three, three. So it doesn't matter. Because that's the mana gorger. I'm going to put it onto this guy. Tiller engine. So it becomes zero zero and dies. Yep. Get that out of there. Needed to be done. I'm sorry. Because mm -hmm. <coughs> I would have just fucking beef Chon's deck up or his board up quick. I I passed. So. Oh okay. I don't know. Untap. Draw. Land return is going to be a planes. What do you have for flyers? 5-5, five, five, one, one. What do you have for flyers, Sean? Three of the Thopters? Uh, four Thopters now. That's it, though. I'm going to swing Micaeus at you, 9-9. Nine, nine. And then I'm going to swing 7 at you, Mike, 2-3 Drevi, and 5-6 High Sentinels of Irishman. Oh, block. Drevi? I said most with my Vault Scourge. Okay, so Vault Scourge dies. 
I take they two. All, I take two, yeah. Yeah, you take two, they all trigger anyways, so they all... Hello? There you go. <coughs> and then I will pass. On tap. Ooh, Sean's lucky number. During my upkeep, nothing triggers. Then it goes to my draw step in the third part of the phase. Well, I draw and then the third part of this goes off. Nice. Destroy all other permanents except for artifacts, lands, and Phyrexians. Exile the Argent etchings, etchings, etchings and return it to the battlefield. So all permanents except for artifacts, lands, and Phyrexians. This dies. No! And this goes back to you. I think that would actually stay. Because my thing dies. I'm just going to leave Derevi on the board because I'm going to tap to pay him. Put him in right away. Don't matter, shit dies. One, two, three, four. I don't think he would, to be honest. No. No. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep the enchantment here, even though it's dead. Because I have four artifact doctors. That's an artifact, that's an artifact, that's an artifact. That's an artifact, that's not. That's that's the enchantment telling me that those four th those are fourth doctors. I wanna just use this. I can use the back of that, in fact. Yeah. Those are four one one doctors. Then I can put that in. Alright, I'm gonna move to combat. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm still in my first main phase, rather. Switch on the opponent controls the primary control. Two way fillers to pay two. Right. I could sacrifice those three. And start it all over again. <coughs> wow. Uh, anyway, I'm going to tap two. What? One. And a blue. To play Thopter Foundry. Two, sacrifice an artifact. I'm going to tap one. Sacrifice. What does that do? Can I read it? I can tap one and sacrifice another an artifact to put a one one blue flying top to token into play. And you gain one life. And I gain a life. I think I'll let that slide, Mike. I'm gonna tap one and sacrifice a micro synth wellspring. I get a one one token. One one flying thopter token. Right there. And I gain a life when the Microsynth Wellspring goes to the graveyard. I search my library for a basic land, put it in my hand, then shuffle my library. Um, swamp. My land return will be a swamp. Anybody want to cut? Now I'm going to move to combat. Um... Coop, three two twos coming at you? No. Yeah, three two twos coming at you. Three two twos. Double strike? Nope. So six total. Yep. I can block one with Derevi. They would both die or Derevi would live, right? Derevi's Your two hits two, three. my three yep. and my Derevi two hits. Would live. Okay, so I'm going to block one of them and then I take four. Uh, five five coming your way, Sean. Five, five? Yep. So, second main phase. 
I'm going to tap three to sacrifice one, two, three creatures to transform, exile Elish Norm, and return to the battlefield under its owner's control. When it comes into play, I'm going to incubate five times. Incubate two, five times. Incubate two, five times. And they transform. And they transform. So you have five... Five two twos. Two twos. Um, well, it's right there. Thank you very much. I will, at the end of my turn, I'll declare I'm going to my end step. Beginning my end step, return Sharoom, uh, I mean, remove Sharoom, exile, target creature I control, then return to the battlefield. When he enters the battlefield, I'm going to get the Vault Scourge back. I'll oh, use Conjurer's Closet. Using Conjurer's Closet. Why do you like him so much? It's an easy card to repeat. Um, what does he even do? Uh, it's a 1 1 flying lifelink. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Untap. Upkeep draw. Oh. You died. Oh, I didn't put you back up there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boy. Oh. me right of on. Wow. Rip. Swing at you with a one seven. One seven, what's it do if I block it? Uh, I don't think it does anything. Yeah, it's whenever I land, and just under my control. I'll block it with a five five. Okay. You turn. Oh, I don't game blocked it and killed it. <laughs> it's the biggest creature we got right now. Probably Shroom 5-5. Five five. But it doesn't matter. You want him to go back to your hand anyways. He boomerang a bunch of his tokens. And it'll just go away. <laughs> oh, like this thing? Like if I... No. This, what the squirrel token is. Yeah, but Boomerang only does one permanent. Yeah, there's still one less. That'll be a 2-2 two -two with double strike. Or a 3-3 three -three with double strike. When it gets around to his turn. Uh, how big are your adopters? They're 1-1s, one -ones, right? Yeah, there's one one with flying. Is Shroom the only guy with flying? No, you have that 1-1. One -one. So if I got rid of your saga thing, I wouldn't, like, get rid of your stuff. That stuff's just there. Yeah. Um. I'm going to... Under Sharoom, what's the next biggest thing? Those are 2-2. Two, two. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce one of them. I'm gonna go ring one of them back to your hand. For two blue. And then. Swing at Sean for two flying. Derevi? Yeah, Derevi, yeah. I just know he'll just block with Sharoom and Derevi would die. Then you can pay to put him out. Yeah, I think that's it though. But why would I do that? You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to at least that's deal damage to someone. Before you end your turn, I'm going to tap one and sacrifice the executioner's hood to create a one-one flying thopper token and gain a life. And you're ending your turn. Mm -hmm. 
untap, upkeep, I draw and the second of this ability goes off. Now creatures I control get plus one plus one and gain double strike until end of turn. Tap two to play elsewhere flask when it enters the bet and it comes into play draw a card. I'm gonna tap three to play Tome Bound Lich. Tome Bound Lich. It's a one three, now two four. Death Touch, Life Link, and when it enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player. I draw a card and discard a card. Draw a card and I discard that card. I am going to pay one to sacrifice the Elsewhere Flask to the Thopter Foundry to create another 1-1 one, one Flying Thopter. One doesn't have haste. One came into play last turn, so it can attack this turn. I will pay... One, to equip the veteran's sidearm to the vault skirt. <coughs> We're going to move into combat now. All right. Justin. Mm -hmm. Four, three, three double strikes. And a... 2-2, two, two, flying, and a 3-3, three, three, flying. I think that kills me. What did you say? Four 2-2s, two, double strike? Four 3-3, three, three, double strikes. So that's 4 times 3 times 2. That's 24 damage. That's, no, that's 12. What, 4 times 3. 4 times 3, oh, double 12, strike. Yeah, that's an actual overkill, huh? Yeah, so... So the I can block one of those and then you kill me. GG's. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna if you swing, swing two of them at me. You die. Oh yeah, you'll kill me. I'm gonna swing the Shroom a six six double strike flying at you. A three three double it's strike flying. flying at you. Okay, I die. And a one one. Okay. I'm at six. GG. GG. Ripley takes the game again. All right, that's that's, that's enough of that. Fantastic. Thank you.